In June 1965 has appeared this in a satellite report in the area of Deception Islands south of Argentina. The Russians tried to sabotage the refloating operation in vain, despite the violence of the confrontation. The flying object was finally brought back to Edwards Air Force Base in California. And 10 years later, the first anti-gravitational drone using magneto-hydrodynamic propulsion, or MHD, made its debut test flight in the desert around Edwards Air Force Base, where a number of prototypes came into being. The Belgians got a small glimpse of so-called UFOs in 1989 and 1990. The incriminating model was a triangular-shaped Astra TR-3B or XR-7, capable of flying in total silence at more than Mach 10. Now I would like to speak to you about another concrete application of such technology. The B-2 bomber, whose development started in 1982. The official B-2 stealth bomber, which flew for the first time in 1989, was to serve as cover for another unconventional B-2 to be built in parallel. This top-secret model used, among other things, a plasma creation system, exploiting the airflow like an MHD generator. This system produces ionization of the air around the B-2, thereby suppressing air resistance while ensuring total invisibility for any type of radar. This nuclear bomber has flown for 15 years now at more than Mach 10. It can fly around the Earth in just a few hours without being seen. Naturally, such military research was to give rise to many commercial spin-offs. Over the last 10 years, we've seen the appearance of dozens of non-lethal armaments like E-bombs or electromagnetic bombs, as well as, of course, microwave weapons and powerful lasers. The U.S. Department of Defense, through the multinational Raytheon, decided to invest a gigantic amount of money in an experimental program called HARP or High Frequency Activate Auroral Research Program. And it was quite a program. Officially, the base in Alaska studies the ionosphere. In truth, the real possibilities of the installation are enormous. Climate manipulations, deep detection of underground base or deposits, silent and remote destruction of any object and most important of all manipulation of human behavior so in 1996 a russian satellite discovered in antarctica the almost intact wreck of an immense spacecraft revealed by the melting of the glaciers the ice samplings indicated a crash date some 24,000 years ago at the same moment, a volcanic eruption on the Deception Islands, the same islands as before, forced the Russian to request help from the United States, given the urgency and importance of recovery of the vessel. In the end, they suddenly dropped it all and evacuated the zone in panic. The device was finally destroyed by the Russians, extremely upset by the situation, which was no longer working to their advantage. No country will have such opportunity again. And this foolish action, as bad losers on the part of the Russians, was only to reinforce the position of the Americans as regards extraterrestrials. If this account has seen somewhat long despite my efforts to simplify, it was absolutely necessary to get to the subject I mentioned previously. The plot known as the Orion Conspiracy. Our research group is convinced that UFOs constructed by the Americans or the Russians will be used to support an hoax attack on the Earth of extraterrestrial origin. The media taking care of the rest, of course. The reason? Once the threats of international terrorism has dissipated, the war economies of the major powers, with the United States at the head of the pack, will need a new enemy in order to still prosper. 
War on Earth will be replaced by space war against an enemy from beyond. So then, gentlemen, I thank you. A complete report will be handed to you at the exit. As for me, I'll see you again soon for a second update on a quite different subject. Gentlemen.